Hello friends and welcome to virtual story time at the Chippewa River District Library. Will you join me in singing the hello song? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Welcome to Virtual Storytime. Today we are talking all about things that grow. I'm very, very excited. The weather's getting warmer and we're starting to see lots of plants and flowers growing up from the ground. And I have the perfect book to talk about this topic with you. It's right over here on my shelf. Here we have Plant the Tiny Seed by Christy Matheson. And in addition to being a great author, I think she has a pretty awesome name. It's the same as my name. Let's take a look and see what this book is about. There's magic in this tiny seed. Press it down and count to three. Let's each pretend that we have a tiny seed in our hand. Can you press it down and count to three? One, two, three. Let's see what happens. Plant another, then one more. Press them down and count to four. Let's try again. Let's put another seed in our hand and press it down. One, two, three, four. Hmm, I wonder what's gonna happen to our seeds. Wiggle your fingers to add some water. Here we go, let's add some water with our fingers. Give them a good wiggle. That's enough. Next, rub the sun to make it hotter. Do you see where the sun is on the page? Let's reach out and rub the sun. Make it a little hotter so that plant gets lots of light to grow with. Tap the cloud and wish for rain. Now it needs some rain. Let's tap the cloud, reach out, tap, tap, tap. Hopefully we get some nice water on our seed. <gasps> look friends, on this page, our tapping helped make it rain. And if you look, here comes our seeds growing on the page there. Clap to bring the sun again. Ready, one clap. Ah, find the worm. Look for its tail. Hmm. Do you see the worm? Well, we made the sun come out with our clap. That was good. Hmm. I see a snail and a ladybug. Oh, there it is. Do you guys see the tail of the worm down there? Wow. Well, our plants haven't quite grown up yet. They're still tiny seedlings. So I think we're gonna have to check out this book from the library find out what happens and if our plants grow big and tall into flowers like the ones on the cover here. I'll put a link down in the description so if you'd like to check this book out from the Chippewa River District Library you can follow that link. We learned a little bit about growing from our book but I'd like to do a rhyme together one of my favorite rhymes for learning about growing. It's called Five Fat Peas. And all you need is five fingers to tell this story. Five fat peas in a pea pod pressed. Make a fist with your hand. One grew, two grew, so did all the rest. There we have our five fingers that have grown into peas. They grew and grew and did not stop. Reach all the way up to the top with your hand. Look how tall it's getting. Until one day, the pod went pop. And then you just make a clapping noise. Let's try it all once together and you can follow along with those motions. Five fat peas in a pea pod pressed. One grew, two grew, so did all the rest. They grew and grew and did not stop until one day, the pod went pop. <laughs> Good job. My favorite part of that is when we get to pop the pod at the end. Hey there, friends. It's time to get writing. We're gonna practice our pre-writing skills. You can grab a pen or piece of paper or just follow along with your finger in the air. 
Okay, I've marked out the letters we're gonna practice today. And we're gonna start, there's a capital at the beginning of this word. It's a G. Let's see what comes next. R. O. Ooh, this is a twisty fun one. W. G. R. O. W. G. R. O. W. Grow. Let's do another rhyme together. In our last rhyme, we counted up with five fat peas. For this one, we're gonna start with five and we're gonna count down five pretty flowers. And we just need the same thing, just a hand, as we count our flowers. And the rhyme just goes like this. Out in the garden, growing in the sun, were five pretty flowers and I picked one. How many flowers are left now? One, two, three, four. Let's try the rhyme again. Out in the garden, growing in the sun, were four pretty flowers and I picked one. Hmm, how many fingers do we have left now? One, two, three. Three flower fingers. Let's try it again with three. Out in the garden growing in the sun were three pretty flowers and I picked one. How many are left now? One, two. Out in the garden growing in the sun were two pretty flowers and I picked one. How many flowers are left now? Just one pretty flower is left. Out in the garden, growing in the sun, was one pretty flower, and I picked that one. There are no flowers left. Now we can take them inside and put them in a vase. How beautiful. Before we end today, I wanted to talk about what flowers are you seeing? What plants are you seeing growing? You might see some daffodils growing in your garden this spring. You might see Maybe some dandelions are gonna come out pretty soon and you'll see them around your yard. Hmm, maybe some tulips. You also might see some other plants growing. The grass is growing and starting to get nice and green. You might see some vegetables growing in your yard. I learned something very cool when I was going for a walk in the woods the other day. I saw a very weird looking plant I learned it was called a skunk cabbage. They're such weird little plants. They grow up in the spring and they're so warm and hardy, they can actually melt the snow as they grow. Isn't that cool? There are all kinds of interesting plants out there. So my challenge to you is to go find some of them. And if you do see an interesting or beautiful or just a plant that you like, share it with us. You can share it on our Facebook page. We would love to see all of the interesting growing things you've got growing out in your neighborhood. Well, friends, we've reached the end of our story time and it's time to sing the goodbye song. Will you sing it with me? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you next time.